The science behind the manufacturing of stoma appliances has really developed over the last 10 to 15 years. However, history has shown that stomas have actually been created many, many, many years ago. Um, and the first recorded uh, stoma formed is actually way back in the battlefields, way before the First World War. And they would have just used plastic bags to go over to contain the contents coming out. Um, more recently, going back to probably the 1940s, 50s, patients would have been discharged home with bags, something like this. So they were rubber appliances, but they took a lot of work to be able to get them onto the skin, first of all. You had to have like a medical wash and then um, an adhesive uh, plate, and then that was all taped down, and then the actual back of the bag then was stretched over that. People do still use these today. They still are available in various forms and they would just wash them out with Milton or Dettol, something like that, and reapply them. They emptied in various forms. Some of them had taps, some of them had little screw tops, um, but for the people that still use them, they wouldn't really particularly want to change. The research behind and the development of the stoma appliances has been amazing over the last 10 to 15 years. One of the most obvious changes is the development of the soft covers that are now on the appliances. One of the good factors in that is that it really helps in the appliance being discreet and it also helps whenever you're in the bath or the shower and the water can just run off it and doesn't soak into the material. Another really good development has been the development of the filters. Now that is a work in progress for a lot of companies um, because they are striving to get a, a filter that works really effectively 24 hours a day. But the basics behind it is, is that the air comes up in through the filter, comes out through the charcoal portion, so that it's then deodorised. The development of the hydrocolloids is really, really amazing. You need a hydrocolloid in some instances that you can change three to four times a day. So the scientists have really worked on something that's very easy to remove and is also skin friendly. For other products, you want to be able to keep the bag on for three or four days at a time. And so therefore they have developed different hydrocolloids to cope with that length of uh, wear time. And I find it really amazing that they're coming up with different ways to make the products much more skin friendly and much more comfortable. Another big difference is the outlet. A number of years ago, the only thing that was available was the hard clip that you would have sealed the end of the bag with. All the companies now are creating bags with Velcro. And that just makes it a little bit easier and less risky whenever you're emptying your pouch down the toilet. I would have heard stories of people losing their hard clip or the soft wire tie down the toilet and then unless you've got a spare in your pocket that just makes it really difficult. So these just make it much more discreet. They're all integrated into the bag and then another little tip would be to fold the bag or fold the little outlet up inside your bag and that just makes it a lot more discreet again. I can only imagine the amount of research and development that has taken place to be able to ensure that the products of the future are going to look a lot different, they're going to feel a lot different, but the main aim is actually that they're going to work really, really well.